what's up guys, of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Scarender. And today we got ourselves a match against the Everwolf, and uh, Everwolf is a very, very, well, good player, honestly. I have a rough time winning against her, and um, yeah, this is no difference. It, uh, she's very strong, very, very bulky, intended teams, and uh, always a good synergy and catch me off guard more often than I like to admit. So, like a very, very fun battler, I learned a lot battling her, and um, this time I brought my A-game. I really, really, really wanted to challenge her on even grounds this time, so I went extremely offensive. So, looking through is her team here, we've got Sandslash, Ninetales, Articuno, Duishin, um, Dragonier, and Swallow. And I myself am using Sneasel, Stoutland, uh, Mismagius, Warmadan, and Nosepass. No, Probaz and uh, my Magmortar, which is the physical one. And basically, looking through our team here, she does not like the Sneasel at all. So I'm basically gonna leave with that, hope it hits something damn hard. And um, basically, her biggest threat on her her side is definitely like Dragonier, who can definitely threaten me out. And Swallow, if I can't stop it, then you know, I'm gonna go down fast. Um, I have nothing to really deal with uh, Swallow besides the Protobats, and um, yeah, so I need to keep that one alive. Uh, but besides that, I'm just going to play as offensively as is required and hope to get some momentum out of that. So, um, with all this, my guys, of course, let's go. So right, knowing Emberwolf, I was having kind of a hint that she might play extremely aggressive from the beginning, and Swallow is, well... That's rather aggressive, and since it comes out first, it pretty much means that it's faster than me, and uh, I'm just gonna threaten her out with an Ice Shard, because Ice Shard is from this range enough to kill a Swallow, no matter really what the situation due to uh, my Life Warp. So, predicting that he was gonna, or she was gonna switch out instead of going for a U-turn or anything like that, I decided to go for an Ice Punch instead, and well, Nine Tails was probably not what I was really hoping for, and uh, it takes it really well. But I was thinking that, alright, but in combination with knockoff, I should actually be able to take it out due to that damage. And look at that! It actually takes nine tails out, and that is a major threat that way. Honestly, I mean, because I couldn't really use my Wormadan as long as um, nine tails was inbound, so I was kind of, well, I was kind of feeling good after that, to be honest. So anyway, Sakes is gonna come in, and or Sykes, and I don't wanna risk it. I don't wanna have an unnecessary damage on my. Well, Sneasel because it just does so much damage and I'm gonna play it really safe here she does unfortunately miss the hurricane which would have done a whole lot to an assault vest um, with mages anyway but still and I'm just gonna go for the power gem hoping that she would see feel safe to send in this Dragonier takes that so well that's not even funny and um, basically I was predicting her to go for a thunder wave was no reason for her to bring it like that if uh, she didn't want to try to shut me down and now she shows me different Dragon Dance. That is dangerous. That is really dangerous. And uh, I went for a Toxic. Uh, she probably well, like, go for Stealth Rocks. But then after this, I'll go for a Toxic. Probably a bad move on my side. Because these things usually have, um, well, Shed Skin. And there is no residual damage I can get out of this that should help me out. And even so, um, she might as well pack the rest because of the shed skin which means that I am in no position of really taking her out and uh, she gets the first turn shed skin and that is awful uh, there is nothing really stopping her from setting up and um, I'm only staying in because I want to see her attacking move because if it is extreme speed and that is an unstab movement that's fine but if it is outrage then I could use my protobass to resist that damage luckily for me she goes to outrage it's not gonna take me out because Wormadan is just that freaking bulky but uh, at the same time, I knew that I can't take another one, and uh, I'm hoping that you will have a free turn outrage, because that means I can come in with my protobass and actually take her out before she gets a chance to go for rest. So yeah, gonna go to steal a musk, and there's an outrage, and um, sadly she just only get the two turn outrage, which is, like I said, kind of bad. Because that means one thing, and one thing only, that uh, she could go for recovery. Luckily, she does hit herself in confusion, and uh, it is enough to take her out due to her free Dragon Dances, of course, possessing a lot of power after that. Uh, after that, she will go to her Lexus, which is the Sand Slash. And um, I'm 
basically go into Fardis off. I was thinking first, you're probably gonna go for Stealth Frogs and if you like that. But she's gonna show me the Sandstorm, which means that this, of course, is the Sand Rush set. Which means one thing, uh, that I can't really, really let Protobaz just go at it just yet. I need to stall out the Sandstorm, so I was thinking I can go to Guts and go for Intimidation, you know, wall it down to some extent. She's gonna go for the EQ and it will do a good chunk, but that is not, you know, in the 50% area. And even with the Sandstorm hit, I was thinking that, alright, I can still take another one and then retaliate because I took that sand Earthquake actually just barely. But we had probably some weird mid max going there and the next Earthquake <laughs> will actually take me out. Which was something I did not expect. I mean, I've stayed in because I, I was feeling safe. So that was kind of bad. And she will miss the Stone Edge, which is even worse. And I go for a Toxic here. I can stall this guy out. I, I hate being this guy. But when you have the bulk to kind of win a matchup, you kind of have to utilize that so you don't lose more momentum. The Sandstorm really makes Sandslash really, really, really formidable. I can't outspeed with Sneasel and then I will probably not take it out no matter how I really pull this off. So I knew that this was my best bet really at it. And the Sandstorm will finally subside and I was basically banking here that she wasn't going for another Sandstorm. And even if she did, she was not going to survive it. So I went for an Earthquake just to be really safe. Uh, she will just go for the attacking move and um, she goes for Earthquake instead of the Stone Edge. I think she does that because she just wouldn't hit and go for damage, which is really fine. While it doesn't do a whole lot, it still does you know, something in contrast to just missing the Stone Edge, which is something that, uh, well, sometimes you can't afford really to miss. So anyway, her next matchup is the Duition, and I'm going to speed up this a little bit. Because I have nothing really good against this duition besides the Toxic, which actually is affecting it because it is the Magic Guard set and not the Regenerator set. So I am I am kind of a trouble here because I really need like a real entry to this. So I was thinking that I could basically go for damage, hoping that that could help out. But uh, no, she's just gonna take this opportunity to set up against me, and I was basically waiting for her to showcase me to recover because I knew if she went for recover that um, I could probably, in best case scenario, lure her to go for um, more Calm Mind. So I knew that there was an Energy Ball, she probably had a Psychic move, she shouldn't really do anything against my Protobast, or at least not that much. So um, yeah, basically it's showing Steel Musk here, and uh, basically this play, I did that only so she was going to feel safe to go for Calm Mind, so I can safely go for my Arwig or the Sneasel. So Sneasel finally comes in, and, well, since it comes in safely, I could have sacked something instead maybe, but the knockoff is enough to take it out. Which was something, I, I didn't really bank on that, I was just hoping that it could take it out. There was no sure way of really telling if it could. Uh, so of course, the Violet being gone and all, it's super bulky, that was not bad at all, honestly. So anyway, I'm just gonna go for an eye shot this time, because like I said in the beginning, uh, being that she came out first means that she is faster. So she goes for quick attack, which is the right move, and the ice shard of course is enough to take it out. And um, yeah, I mean that quick attack did so much damage, wow it's not even funny. So anyway, her last Pokemon is Sykes, and uh, after Stealth Rock there is no way that she's gonna take this knockoff. And uh, basically Emberwolf, this was a very very nice battle, I was very glad to actually finally win against you. Um, I think you won against me three times before this, and I never really won against you, so this was a very, very... was a big moment for me, I really felt that finally, finally I pulled this off, and um, of course, playing aggressive as I did probably helped that process out, and um, yeah, my two walls was really, 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 really uh, counteractive to the Pokemon that could set up against me, so... I didn't respond properly to the setup Pokemon, but at the same time, the setup Pokemon that you had couldn't destroy me in the fashion you kind of wanted. So, GG for this game, GG. So yeah, damn, Sneasel is so formidable in you. I mean, I've seen Anima or Elora use this Pokemon before, and uh, to some fashion, kind of get that. Oh, it's it's really good. You have a lot of weaknesses, but it hits hard. Yeah, that that's an understatement. It really takes out Pokemon's. And um, yeah, I don't know what set is better, if Swordstan set is better than the Life Orb set, but yeah, it it's working. And that is really all that is required, cannot tell, it's working really well, and I'm glad it does. 
Um, and also, as you guys were on my stream yesterday, you know, thank you for being a part of that. Always fun to have you there. And um, I hope to stream soon again. Yes. So anyway, guys, I hope you like this battle, of course. And if so, make sure to leave a like. And you know, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the sky is obviously the limit. <laughs> so have a good day, guys. Like I said, thank you for watching. Take care, guys. Bye.